What is going on, everybody? Monday, we finally have the first part of the roadmap on NBA Top Shot announced and released to the public in the form of a blog. So we're going to dig into everything that they covered in this one and just the initial reactions and thoughts uh, just around the roadmap that they put out. So let's just get right into it. And first, just initial reactions where everything they did, I mean, sounds good, right? But they haven't obviously done any of it so far. And I mean, I think it's kind of just things that people have been talking about over the summer, like the entire summer. And honestly, when I put out that video like four days ago, basically everything I put in that is basically in the roadmap. If you want to check that one out after this video, I'll link it in the description also at the end card and honestly brainstorming for that video i probably spent like 10 or 15 minutes coming up with all that so just kind of funny it took him like an entire summer to come up with stuff that we have all been talking about for a long time so here is the roadmap you've probably checked it out already i'm just going to go through it one by one so legendary scarcity i guess the big things here is they're going to be no more than 99 and it's going to be limited to just 50 plays during the season, which is definitely less than we've seen before. So for me, I'm not a legendary collector because they're just still so expensive. This didn't seem too crazy to me and like a big change. Because I mean, if we just filter here by legendaries, let's just look at NBA legendaries and low to high. There's not that many that are above 99 anyways. I mean, I filtered by NBA, but they're still coming in WNBA here out of 125. And then I think there might only be one legendary set above 99 for the NBA. Yeah, right here, the 120. So that didn't seem like a huge change to me, but I guess it's I guess it's fine. Honestly, I'm not into collecting legendaries. They're just too expensive, and the packs are always like a thousand dollars as well. So probably the same with a lot of you guys. So just gonna go over that really quickly. <laughs> The next part is the rare moments, which I am somewhat of a collector of rare moments as well. So nothing over 999, which is good to see. Also, just three players per team are going to get rare, which is definitely a cut down from last series and minted all below 400, which is pretty awesome as well. So I think that they did pretty good on the rare aspect. I mean, just for an example, let's take the Boston Celtics, who obviously made it all the way to the finals. And then just look at how many rares they had. Okay, we got to filter Series 3 as well. So you can see the Celtics had 4, 8, 10 rare moments in Series 3. So I think basically what they're saying is they're just going to have three rares. Like a third, I guess, of the rares are going to be cut down. So actually take that back. So it actually says only metallic gold will feature three players admitted below 400. I guess it doesn't really talk about the other rare sets. So, I mean, a lot of this information that we're going to see here is kind of unfinished. Hopefully they tighten it up over the next couple of days because they're doing like a rolling release. But right now, yeah, there's no really news, I guess, besides metallic gold set on rares. So I kind of take back what I just said. So not so common. So this was good to see. Each player will only have one base set play. I really thought they should have done in the past. Um, and they kind of did do that even last series. I mean, a lot of players have 160K and that's it. There's not many with a 60K plus like a 9.9K or a 30K or 260Ks. So... That is kind of, they've already kind of been doing that for probably over 50% of the players anyways. And then they said commons will have a mint count of 8,000 to start. So honestly, I didn't really understand this. And hopefully they clarify this a little more. So they're going to start with a mint count of 8,000 with an additional 8,000 limited edition moments of the same play stretch across unique base set parallels. So they did say more info on these come later in the week. So they're just going to have a base set out of 8,000 plus that same play that's a parallel that's minted lower than 8,000, but those parallels add up to 8,000. I guess that's what they're talking about. 
I'm not a huge cardboard card collector, but if you just Google Panini parallels, like you can see the Zion. I, I mean, I, I shouldn't really even be talking on this because I don't know about cards, but I think like this is like a mosaic and it's technically a parallel of his base card. And then if you click uh, yeah, on this, like it's the same card, but different backgrounds. So I don't know if that's exactly what they're talking about. And they're all like minted out of different numbers, but that's my best guess at, at what they're talking about here. All right, and then lastly, rookies making their first appearance in the season will have their first moments debut and a new rookie debut set minted to 4,000. So this is a big change. And honestly, right now, I don't know how I feel about it because part of, I mean, almost like 100% of why you were buying base packs for $9 is the chance to pull these rookie debuts out of 4,000. Now, I don't know how they're going to be able to sell base packs if there's no rookies in them because people are just going to get base moments. It's not that exciting. So I don't exactly know how I feel about this. And I don't even know if what I'm saying is true, if these rookies are not going to be in base packs. But it seems like they're having a rookie debut set like they did in Series 1. So a lot of people probably don't even really know about this set because it's pretty expensive still. But these were minted out of 250, and it's a whole set of just rookies. So they might be doing something like this. And like if they drop a pack, I wonder how much this pack would be. Obviously, they're going to be minted out of 4,000, which is a lot more. But even like top rookies that are minted out of 4,000, like Evan Mobley, you can see that's 170 bucks still. And Cade Cunningham is 217 so that could be an expensive pack for the chance to pull someone like a, a Cunningham or a Mobley. And for this year, it would be like Banchero, Keegan Murray, Jaden Ivey, those kind of guys that would be in that rookie debut pack. So interesting. We'll see how that one plays out. Okay, and then the burning. Obviously, they had to say something about burning. They're going to burn 2 million unreleased moments, which we talked about in my last video. I said just burn half of all unreleased moments uh, I don't know what that total number would add up to but it seems like it would be over two million but I thought this was a chance where if they really wanted to make a splash rather than just kind of have this blog post that's pretty underwhelming I want to say with not like any huge news because everyone was kind of expecting them to do all this uh, I think it would have been cool if they just burned these 2 million moments like as this blog was being released and then all of a sudden these moments are just gone from the platform. I was really hoping that they would do some big splash like that. Similarly to like how NFL All Day just like uh, just had Playbook on their platform <laughs> and put out that blog post at the same time which made a huge splash and the market went crazy in NFL all day due to that. And what I was really hoping for was like when these moments get burned, instead of seeing Kemba Walker 40,000 here, you see Kemba Walker like 36,452 or however many are burned or and in the locker room here. I thought that would have been a cool splash as well. So looking at top shots here on Evaluate Market, I guess looking at changes over... In the last 24 hours, if anything's actually moved, some sets are up, some are still down though as well. So I didn't see huge market jumps with any of these sets due to any of this news. If anything, I would think that maybe metallic gold sets would have dropped because they did announce that they're going to go with lower mint counts on those, but uh, didn't really see too much big time movement that maybe some of us were hoping for here so they said they're gonna burn two plus million early in the season but like just do it now like why why wait just like do it uh it's kind of what i was thinking about the burning and then they said they're gonna burn approximately five million moments during the whole season so that's just from them and doesn't include burning by collectors so then challenges I'm hoping that they have a lot more information on challenges than this like 35 words here or whatever this is. But basically just saying that they're going to have 
challenges that they've already been doing, essentially with burning and locking, which they've already done challenges like that. So not really any news at all on challenges. So hopefully there's a big splash on these challenges that they're planning, something that's a little cooler and, and better than they have in the past. And then we have powering up locker packs. So again, not a lot of information. Again here, I don't know, maybe 35 words about powering up locker packs, but it's just too little information to really pull any conclusions from this. They said from every drop portion is gonna go into the locker room. So that means even rare and legendary moments will go into the locker room. But coming here, we still have 15,000 of these locker packs available. I don't know, it's been probably three weeks, it feels like, and they're still in here. And just a terrible percent chance at pulling uh, an S1, which is the prize in this. So again, so even if they have rares, that's still a 1% chance. It doesn't really do anything for me. The only way I would get excited about locker packs is if you have higher percent chance to hit something because I know a ton of people <laughs> get really frustrated with these locker packs. So I'm still not too excited on locker packs unless they do raise the percent chance of hitting something good. All right, then here, team communities. Honestly, I'm not too into this. I've been a part of one of the team communities and I don't live in the city or even close to it. And I'm pretty sure everything I've seen that they've done so far is in real life events, which is cool. But I mean, how many of these set collectors of a team actually live in that city? I mean, you could say that I'm not a fan. So why do I collect the team? Like there's so many people that are fans of teams that don't live in the city. So for me, team communities don't really do anything for me. Personally, I would like to see stuff from the captains and team communities that reward everybody that is in the community and not just the people that live in that city so until that happens I, i'm not excited on this so then the last part is just more to come obviously we have more updates to come this is just the first round so i'll probably wait till like the end of the week and then make another update video on everything they went over but definitely excited for the nba to start on tuesday Hopefully they have a challenge coming up for opening night. If they don't, I think that could be a huge blunder. I mean, I can't even remember how they announce challenges for games, but like these games are coming in just a little over 24 hours and no news of a challenge yet. So I can't remember if they announce it like a day before or just like five hours before or how challenges work like that. But I assume there's going to be some kind of challenge coming all right so all in all i think everything that they announced in this blog for the roadmap is good a lot of it just not enough information on what they're actually talking about like with the parallel sets in the commons the rares they basically just told us about metallic gold and then the burning like i don't know why they haven't done the burning yet or when they're actually going to burn those and then the challenges they basically just said they're going to keep doing like the same challenges that they've been doing this summer, I guess. So, so far, uh, a little underwhelming on all the news, but I think the mint counts seem good and limiting the amount of legendaries and rares sound good as well. And obviously it sounds like they have a lot of burning planned, but haven't seen any yet. So excited to actually see them put all this into motion and excited for a few more updates coming this week. So stay tuned for an update video on Friday and subscribe for that. Check out the playbook video that will be linked at the end of this video, also down in the description for tonight's game, Monday night, and my thoughts on that. And I'll catch you guys in another one.